Hi there. Today I thought we'd take a quick look at the new feature added to Fairbot in November 2024 and that is the Autopilot Manager which is available via the Tools menu. The Autopilot Manager allows Fairbot to automatically select events, add them to the market watch list and assign strategies to them. So it works in conjunction with automated strategies, the market watch list and the market selector. Now I've shown you the market selector before. This allows you to go in and filter out all the events and bring up a predefined list of events that you may be interested in. You can set up presets for these. I'll let you view that video that I've done in the past on how to do that. All we're going to do is use one of my predefined ones, Horse Racing GB Win. So that's uh, today's Horse Racing Markets. To set that up, you can either click on the New Autopilot Entry or right click in this blank area here and choose New Autopilot Entity. Right click on it again to rename it. Let's just call it Racing Demo. Make sure it's selected and you have these three tabs here that you can assign. So first of all in the preset one. So this is the market selector preset that you choose. So we're going to use the Horse Racing GB Win. The refresh rate every 15 minutes should be fine. What it's going to do is every 15 minutes we'll check to see if there's any new markets that needed to be added. And then the strategy is again a predefined strategy for the sake of this exercise. Let's just add in that strategy here. And then finally you have the auto start on login. What that allows you to do for each uh, autopilot entry you have, you can set auto start on login on. So whenever you fire up Fairbot, autopilot will automatically start. It will go and search all the Betfair markets that you've already uh, defined within the autopilot find those qualifying ones and start to add them into the market watch list as well as assign the corresponding strategy you have specified in this box here for each entry. On the advanced tab, uh, generally speaking you would have the first option there. You've got two options, markets with greater match volume and markets with lesser match volume. That just sets the priority as far as the selection process is concerned. And then you've got time intervals and the maximum number of markets. Use these controls to try and limit the number of markets that the autopilot finds and sticks into your market watch list. You can imagine a situation if you were doing um, some football markets, racing, greyhounds, you could actually fill up the market watch list quite considerably and that has an impact on its performance. So use these controls here to reduce that. So in, a sense, in essence, what it's doing is periodically in set time frames, it checks to see if there's any up and coming markets that they qualify and adds them into the market watch list. And it does that throughout the day. On the conditions tab, this is a similar dialogue to the conditions tab you have on the strategy editor, where you add in a condition, you see there's a significant uh, difference between the conditions available here and the conditions that are available within the strategy editor. Use the conditions within the strategy editor to manipulate how your strategy works. These conditions shown here in the application, uh, sorry, the um, autopilot manager simply allow you to filter out events that aren't going to be qualifiers. So, for example, you might want to specify selection fixed odds of less than two. Sorry, greater than two. So, in other words, you're, you're filtering out odds on favourites. The other options available to you, market name text. So, that will allow you to filter for, let's say, handicap races, simple buy. If you click on there and put in HCAP, that will look for any handicap races and so on. 
and you can see you can filter by start time, volume and so on and so forth. So for example start time you might want to make sure that the start time is less than or equal to five o'clock. So you only want to do the afternoon racing. Okay, so once you've done all that, click on the save button and you can start this particular entry by clicking on the start button, keeping in mind the auto, automatically start option at log on. If you haven't switched that on for your autopilot entries, you need to go in and manually configure them to start. So as soon as you click on start for any one of these, so the one we've got here is the racing demo, you'll see a new box appears at the top uh, indicating how many of these are active. So if I click on this cricket one here and uh, start that one, you'll see a cricket match has just come in there and you'll see all the other horse racing ones they're all handicaps. So this is filtering out all those that are not handicap races. And that essentially is it folks. Um, one of the, the things that this allows you to do effectively is if you've got a number of strategies over a number of different types of events, you can set that up in the morning and Fairbot will just periodically go in, check to see which qualifying events are coming up and automatically add them to the watch list. And it does that periodically throughout the day so that you don't have to go in and add every single event to your list and manually assign every single strategy to those corresponding events. And it does so in a way to do it periodically throughout the day rather than add them all in at once, which has a, an impact on the performance of the market watch list. And that's essentially it, folks. Uh, one final thing I should point out, if I close that, you can click on here and that will bring up the manager. Or if you right click, you have a stop all option. Now, if you click on stop all, that does not remove them from the watch list. So your strategies are still assigned to those markets and those markets are still in the watch list. What the stop all option is doing is stopping any of the autopilot entries that are currently running, stops them so it won't put in any further entries. It won't put any more events into the market watch list. You can stop them individually by choosing the corresponding one and choosing stop all or as I say you can stop them all by clicking on the right clicking and stopping all there. And that's it folks, thanks very much for watching, I'll speak to you later, cheers.